Hey everyone, Shabim here and welcome back to some more Road to Glory. Right, another Europa League special. Uh, this time Marseille in the round of the last 16. I feel like Rangers was beatable, but Marseille might be one step too far, but we'll see how we get on. Also, we got a game against Mill right in the middle, but first of all, we've got my favourite time of the month. We have got Youth Scout updates. Right, first of all then, we have got Finland. You're awful. You're awful. And you're awful, so you can all disappear. Ennis, you went off to Uruguay. So you're awful, you're awful. The goalkeeper is interesting. We'll keep you on there for more scouting. We're going to have a really terrible month here with the youth scouts, aren't we? It's all down to you in Ghana. Well, you've got a lot of players, though. Uh, you're not good enough. Okay, Abraham Moyoyoyoyo. You could be good, actually. 71 to 91, but... We're going to continue to scout you, I think, actually. You're no good. You're decent as well. Lanza Oflato, and I'll keep an eye on you. Uh, you can go. You can go. And you can go. You can go as well. So, we'll continue to scout these two and see what happens. See if we can get a bit more idea on how good they actually are. And where's the actual... Where's the youth squad update? We didn't get a monthly youth squad update for some reason. We'll, we'll, we'll check ourselves. Okay, what we got? Alessandro Greco, 76 to 90. Matea Marino, 75 to 93. That's the one I really want to be good. Um, Niklas Albrecht, 78 to 84. Lino Vieira, 74 to 94. Cristobal Luna, 77 to 91. Thomas Carver Hiles, 77 to 85. Not great. Um, Fabrizio Oliveira, 78 to 94, very good. Uh, Lino Castaneda, 73 to 91. Esteban Luna, 71 to 89. And Ruben Ortiz, 79 to 94. Some interesting players there, then. Very interesting players. We've got three more bits of news. What's this all about? This players that want to play? Tonali says thank you. James says thank you. And Voss says thank you, okay. They're all happy about getting more football. That's not very often that happens, is it? Right, let's skip forward a few days into this Marseille game. It's going to be tricky, isn't it? Because we've got the league game in the middle, which is not ideal. Um, oh, that's not good, is it? Look at this team. When did Ampadu get injured? We're going to have to go with Team B then, because Team A is absolutely knackered. Team B it is then. Um, against Marseille. This is going to be really difficult, this game. Uh, so we get knocked out, we get knocked out. We've done really well. We've got to the last 16 of the Europa League while we're in the Championship, which is pretty outstanding, really. And um, we're going to get a lot of money from it as well, so I'm happy. So, Leighton in goal, Chong, Kabak, Mai, Bisek, Rueg, Guitain, Tanali, Garces, Badu, and De Graff. Let's go. That's Chong. For De Graff over the top, it's headed clear. Who have they got? They've got Lucas Acampos, Gilfi Sigurdsson. Yeah. Oh, God, it's taken five minutes for them to score. I really feel like this is going to be the end of our run, you know. I mean, we're going to come up against a really good team sooner or later. They've got Gilfi Sigurdsson as well. They've got some really good players of Marseille, but just look at that pace. He just didn't have it. Just could not keep up with this guy. And he just come blistering through the middle. I mean, we've had quite often in the Carabao, we won the Carabao Cup basically from teams really underestimating us and putting out second teams. So this is the first time I think in this what really playing against teams' best teams. And uh, yeah, I think it's hitting us now. The ability difference is there. Mainly just in pace and strength is the main thing, to be honest. Come on. Have something about you. Have some... Have some grit. Nope. Oh, I've just been gritted all over, haven't I? Oh, come on. Oh, what a frustrating game. It's just... We've got nothing. We've got nothing to offer in this game at all. I mean, look at that. We just got out strength, then none of our players could even catch him up. It's just... Yeah. I mean, I got really frustrated last episode with the Stoke game. Where the game just decided we weren't going to do anything. This game, it's just clearly... It's clearly a skill gap. It really is. There's a big difference between us and Marseille. 
uh, in terms of pace, in terms of ability, and especially in terms of strength, we are really just not on their level. And it's been really frustrating. Every time we look like we can do anything, we just get caught or lose the ball. It's just... Yeah, it is what it is. We've had a fun run in the Europa League and... Oh, another opportunity. We've had a fun run in the Europa League, but it looks like it's probably coming to an end. Uh, we've still got the home leg left, but I can't see it being much of a difference to this one. If we get an away goal, there's an opportunity. Oh, we've done it! Oh, hello. Okay. We do not deserve that. I believe that's our first shot of the entire game, to be honest with you, but... It's Borja Garces who's headed that into the back of the net from the... From the free kick. Good, strong header. He scored twice in the previous game I had off camera as well. He's looking pretty good player, actually, Garces. I like him. Um, okay, so the away goal is there. Maybe there is a chance. That maybe when we go home, there might be a slight chance of us nipping past Marseille here, you know. Who the hell knows? But Garces is looking like a great signing, I must say. Borja Garces, right. 69 minutes in, so 21 minutes remain, and we're losing 2-1, but we do have the away goal. That could be very beneficial back at Stadium NK. Maybe it might uh, get a few players a bit of dig in this game as well, get their heads up. Rueg powers forward. Garces. Oh! Oh my god! In time added on. Borja Garces has just walked in his second of the game. No freaking way has that just happened. What on earth? I was not. We've literally had two attempts this game and scored them both. I mean, look at that. I wasn't even expecting that to go in. To be honest, I knew I had to hit it first time because everyone's got no energy left at all. That was... Oh, wow. Right. Oh, God. It was a great shot as well. This lad. I like this lad a lot. Borja Gus is whatever he, However you pronounce his name, I really like him. 2-2. Two, two. We've got two away goals as well. We did not deserve this, to be honest. Marseille have dominated this game. They should have won. They should have won easily. But somehow, God knows how, somehow we have held on for dear life in this game. And we have survived and made it 2-2 from 2-0 down. My God, the comeback, kids! But let's not get too excited. There's still another leg left yet. Still another leg left. But first, in the middle of these two games, we've got Millwall. Right, so we are really struggling. Both teams are not 100% fitness-wise. So we're going to... Make a few little changes. Let's bring Vargas in in place of... Arp's now an 80-rated player. Arp is now 80-rated. That is fantastic. I like that a lot. Let's bring a Meyer on. We're going to rest Arp and play him against... Um, yeah, we'll play him in that game, I think. We'll play him against um, Marseille. Anyone else? Is any good? I mean, Wu's 68-rated. I was Kai as well. So we play... Let's play Wu. Okay, so there we go. But the team of Svi, Laringo, Rivieros, Yang, Calibre, Wu, Kubo, Durkin, Voss, Vargas, Guebbles, and Amaya. It's not our best team, but hopefully it's a team that can take on and defeat Millwall Town. Millwall Town? Millwall, whoever they are. Kubo early on. Oh, Kubo. Kubo. Eventually ran into one too many players. Rebels, get in. Early goal, that's what we needed. We need to get in a bit of winning streak in the league now to get ourselves up. We won a couple of games off camera in between the previous episode and this one in the league, which has got us up to about 10th in the league. Um, but of course, we need to be in, is it 7th? 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. No, 6th for the playoffs. So we've still got a little bit of way to go. Millwall are in the relegation zone at the moment, so this should hopefully be a game that we can get all three points from and hopefully dominate and find it quite easy. That's the plan. Um, and then hopefully we can get ourselves at least in the playoffs. I want to get promoted this year. I mean, with the run we've had in the Europa League, we're not going to get in the Europa League again. 
I mean, if we win the Europa League, we get Champions League. Let's not talk about that. Uh, of course, we're already out of the Carabao Cup, so we can't get Europa League again. But I would love to get Premiership football next season. I mean, we've got players like Arp, who are now 80 rated. And De Graff is going to be 80 rated very soon as well. I think it's time for us to push hard and get in the Premiership. And reap the rewards. I mean, the amount of money we're getting from the Europa League this season. Uh, plus all the TV money and everything you get. And plus the money for getting promoted. We should be laughing in the Premiership next season. That money we're going to get to spend. Wow, that's a hell of a hit. I mean, either way, we should be laughing that money we get to spend, but hopefully in the Premiership it'll be even more. And it'll be uh, and enough to keep us in a safe and secure spot, or maybe even challenge for Europa League again in the Premiership. Anyway, I'm going to stop babbling now. Let's get into the game. That's a hell of a ball finding Amaya. He's behind the defensive line. Amaya takes a shot, drilled it low. It's a good save by the Millwall keeper. Out for a corner once again, but... It was a good shot, actually. Drilled low, but maybe a bit close to the keeper. Maybe a bit further into the corner it would have been in, but... If wishes were fishes, then... We'd be surrounded by fish. The bar. I don't know where I got that phrase from. It makes absolutely no sense, but... Then we hit the crossbar as well. The pressure's still on there. Wu driving forward. Finding Voss back to Wu. It's a bit of blocking work by Chalaber. Come on. Come on, Grebbles. Pick the time. He did pick the time. Vargas does get around the back of the defender. He took a bit close, but he still gets it. Vargas with the goal to make it 2-0 to MK Dons. That's exactly what we needed. That little bit of security. And it is Vargas who powers it into the back of the net. Good work, my man. Good work. Used his strength and his pace to get past the defender. I thought he'd taken it too far, to be honest. And he just drops it into the back of the net. Boom. Lovely jabbly. Right, 2-0 up. I think we'll make a couple of substitutions just to protect players that we might want to use in the game against uh, that team we're playing. Um, yeah, I've forgotten already. Um, so we'll probably drop Vargas back into that left-back role. Then in the attacking midfield role, we can bring on... Let's bring on Dabo. I mean, it's not his normal position, is it? But... And then Bailly in place of Chalaba. Okay, that, that'll do. It's not the best position for those two players, but it rests the two players we might want to use in the game against Marseille in four days' time. There's Dabo. Grebbles. Ball through, and it's Amaya again. Amaya. This time does wallop it into the back of the net. And Amaya gets the goal. Amaya and Vargas are so solid as options. The pair of them, whenever we need them and bring them on, they're just so solid as options. Um, I've considered maybe looking to sell them on in the summer, but I don't know. I'm just... Yeah, they are very good. Very, very good. I don't really want to lose them because of how good they are. I mean, just look at this. Boom. I mean, Amaya and Vargas, they're both going to cap at around about 80. They're almost at their peak already, so... It's probably pointless pushing them too much further. Um, especially if we can sell them for a decent amount of money that we can then spend on bringing in a bigger and more impressive name. Then, yeah, it might not be the most useful thing in the world. Tackle there by Durkin. Oi! Yeah, I was going to shout Taxi 4, but then I realised I can't pronounce the game's surname. Uh, it was pretty bad. It was terrible, really. That's just really summed up Millwall's day and probably Millwall's season, to be honest. They're in the bottom three. Um, they've been relatively simple for us to take down at this point in time. I says to give the ball away. But yeah, that opportunity alone probably just summed the day up for them. And the season. Just nothing's really gone their way. Although, lucky for them, we're passing out from the back and just... I mean, we're, we're technically like gifting them opportunities here. And they're not taking any of them. So uh, I've got no sympathy for them at this point in time. Come on. Get that clear. No, maybe not. Come on. Don't concede a goal. Let's get the clean sheet for Svila. Oh, thank God for that. They've had a few opportunities this game, Millwall. But they've just not been good enough to take any of them. And that's another 3-0 victory for MK Dons. In the championship, and we are looking 
pretty good in the championship now, actually. Guebbles and Vargas with two of the goals, and the other goal was by Amaya. We dominated that game, didn't we, really? Guebbles with a 6.9. Amaya got an 8.5. Voss with an 8.9 as well. Um, Vargas, 8.5. It was a pretty good game all around, actually. I'm pretty happy with that one. And we managed to rest some of our bigger names ready for the game coming up against Marseille. Here we go then, second leg against Marseille. It was 2-2 on aggregate. Remember, we have two away goals, so we are in the driver's seat, really. So we're going to change a couple of things around, I think. And we're going to bring in Arp up front in place of Badu. I'm not going to change Gas as I was going to, but to be honest, I've been very impressed with the last few games and De Graff. So I think the front three is very, very strong. Chong, Guitain, Tanali, Rueg I'm happy with as well. One thing I've just realized is that Jiang, good old Jiang, is he knackered? I think he might be. Where is Jiang? He's on the bench, yeah. Jiang is now also classed as a centre-back and has the potential to be something special. Now, we've got quite a lot of good midfielders anyway, so I might start using Jiang as one of our main centre-backs. Uh, my... So I think our main three centre-backs at the moment is Jiang, Mai and Ampadu. All of those got 85-plus potential, so that's pretty good. Anyway, let's stop babbling. Let's get into the game. Come on, don't let him score early. Oh, I got had. I got really had, but Leighton was there to save the day. Ball into the middle. Leighton again's there. Oh, a poor attempt at a counter attack. It's supposed to have straight back at us. Oh, wow. Wow, this is so brutal. We attempted a counter-attack with a quick throw from the goalkeeper. Went straight to one of their players who just punted it from distance. I mean, um, defensively, I'm not sure I did much wrong there, to be honest. I mean, everyone could say you should have got the ball. That's fair enough. But still, I think apart from that, we didn't have much of a choice. and much of a chance, really, did we? Luis Gustavo, Campo, Marega looks bloody good. It's his seventh goal of the Europa League this season. And they've got one of those away goals back. We need to score now to equalise things. If it finishes 3-3, we go through. Charm ball into the middle. It was a good one. Head it clear. Oh, what on earth? Come on, get him. Oh, my God. They've ripped us to shreds for the second time in a space of minutes. It's Marega again. Again, I think that's just great play by them. Really good play by them. I don't know if there's much else I could have done there, you know. I mean, look at that ball through. My defenders were not pacey enough to catch him up. I, I uh... That was really difficult. Ugh. 2-0. Wow. They've already wiped out both the goal difference. Uh, both the away goals, sorry. And we're only 20 minutes in. And it's 4-2 on aggregate now to Marseille. I don't want to get embarrassed at home by losing quite a, a lot of goals in front of our home fans. It's not going to be great, I don't think. But Tonali's ball out. Chong's got some space here. Chong. Oh! Top corner. Top freaking corner. Shades of the uh, the Rangers game where there was goals going in everywhere. But Tahib Chong blasts it top corner to make it 3-4 on aggregate. But Marseille are going to have the advantage now to score again with the away goals. But one more goal makes this game even again. What a goal by Chong. Rifled it right in the top corner. He's been getting a lot better the last few games. It took me a while to sort of get used to Chong, but... He's really stepped it up the last few games. It's his second goal in the Europa League. <sighs> Again, I don't think we deserve to go through. Unless we have an outstanding game now moving forward for the next 65 minutes. I don't think we're good enough. I think Marseille are just a step ahead. Good tackle, Quebec, but... 
Oh, what? Ugh. So it frustrates me. It's Kevin Strootman as well. Wow, the Marseille team is really good. They got a centre midfield of Luis Gustavo and Kevin Strootman. But this one frustrates me that we chased him back, we got the ball. And somehow he still keeps it. And that was just lucky, surely. We got up, headed the ball away, and it. A jump in side foot, left foot shot in the bottom corner is just. Oh. Yeah, it's been a fun ride in the Europa League, it really has, but. It's time we say goodbye. We're 3 1 down, we're not really half an hour in. A lot of goals so far in this game, come on. Oh, Marseille, just calm down. Stop taking the piss. It's freaking Dimitri Payet now. Just calm down, Marseille. There's no need to destroy us. I mean, look at this again. It's just... Ugh. Yeah. I'm trying my hardest here, but we're just being ripped to shreds. Marseille have come here and they mean business, but we're not going to go. We need four goals now without response to go through. Here's my. Oh, what a hit! What a hit by Lars Lucas Mai to make it 4 2 on the night. No need to celebrate, guys. There's still a long way to go. I mean, we need three more goals if we want to go through. But that is a good hit, that is. But the centre back, he got a solid header to help us go through in the Rangers game. And here he is now just whacking it in to the top corner against Marseille. And they're definitely impressing a lot of people here in this Europa League. Remember, we're only in the Championship and we're in the final 16 of the Europa League. We've really showed how good we are. We've really overachieved as well, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, we've shown how good we are. And I think we don't deserve to be hammered, but it's not my choice. Referee. Oh, oh, he missed it. <laughs> He's only got to missed it. Wow, that was shocking by them. So Pyatt goes off and Sigurdsson comes on. Well, that's good for me. Is that my 186 rated player off and 186 plated rated player on? Rare plated? Rated player? Oh, come on. <sighs> oh, well. I, yeah. Like I said, they're just better than we are. I don't... It was a... Yeah, it was a good lob. It was a good lob. They're just better than we are, like I said. You look at the players they've got. I mean, they've got a midfielder, Kevin Strootman and Luis Gustavo. They've got um, Payet on the pitch. They've just brought on Gilfie Sigurdsson as well. They've got this Majera who's scoring a lot of goals for them. They've got a really solid team. This guy's amazing. That's his hat trick today. Mareja, not Mar Margera. That's, that's Bam, isn't it? Bam Margera. Oh my god, this game is just embarrassing me now. Just calm down, Marseille. You don't need to do this. You've sent your message. You are better than we are. Just calm down. They're just... Ugh. I'll tell you what, Marseille, I am building up quite a feud against you now. I mean, I want you again at some point. We've got a better and stronger team. Next season, if we're in the Premiership, I'm coming for you, Marseille. I'm going to find whatever international cup you're in and I'm going to come and smash you out of it. And there we go. Oh, I don't know what to say. I mean, getting knocked out of the competition is one thing. I fully expected to get knocked out of the competition, to be honest. But to lose 6-2 at home after a 2-2 draw away is very disappointing. One thing that is for certain, our stamina is awful. And that is a problem with this game. A lot of these young players that are really good with high potentials have terrible stamina. 
I mean, take Dabo, for example. He can barely last half a game. So Dabo is definitely someone that once a big offer comes in, Dabo's on his way. I would have sold him already, and PJ Toby told me how much he can go for in the future. So I've not sold him yet, but in the future, I think Dabo is definitely someone who uh, can probably go. Claude Maurice, again, is another one who's probably worth a bit of money now that we might even end up leaving this summer because of, um, yeah, his ability. But it's disappointing, it really is, but hopefully we can do better moving forward. Right then. Let's have a quick look and see how much money we got for that. Oh, so De Graff, Ampadu and Rivieros are leaving for international duty. That's fine. We got an extra 1.1 million for being knocked out of the cup at that point in time. That's that's interesting. So where does that leave us budget-wise? We've got 42.86 million in the bank profit this season, which is fantastic. Add to that the other stuff we're going to get is absolutely fantastic. Board objectives, we need to be doing pretty well as well. Within two seasons, improve the club worth by 50%. We've done that already. Reach the Europa League knockout stages we've done. Within two seasons, have at least one player from the Youth Academy signed to the first team play at least 50% of the games the next season. Hmm. Okay, if we play uh, Jiang as a centre-back, that should be all right. Um, okay, brand exposure. Three seasons, increase season ticket holders by 10%. That should be easy enough. We've done that one already. Finish mid-table, which is probably what we're already at, but we'll probably do better than that, hopefully. So we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Right, what are we going to do uh, next episode? Then? So there's no more Europa League. It's literally just league matches now until the end of the season. So we'll be finished with some free episodes the end of the season then. So I'm going to play Villa, Norwich, and Bristol City off camera. We'll come back for Reading, Wigan, and Cardiff. And then I think we'll probably do... I don't know, Preston, Forest, and United off camera. Oh, shit, no. Maybe we'll do two episodes then. I'll play these three off camera. We'll do Reading, Wigan, and Cardiff off camera. Oh, on camera, sorry. Then we'll come back and we'll do Sheffield United and Ipswich to finish the season. Well, it's not be finishing the season because we're probably going to be in the playoffs. So we're in the league at the moment. I'll tell you what, I'll play these three games off camera and I'll see what happens because... If we have another three wins, I mean, look how close we are now. We are on 51. The playoffs are 55. And we have got games in hand on a few teams ahead of us. Especially the ones in the playoffs as well. So, that's interesting. If we win that game in hand, we're going to be one point behind Ipswich. So there's a lot of really interesting stuff coming up, actually. So, we'll have to um, see how we get on moving forward. Anyway... Of course, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please do hit a like and of course subscribe if you want to see some more. I've been Shabby Gamer, thank you much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.